There are a lot of different ways to organize your life, but how do you organize your life in a way that both creates more organization as well as helps you achieve your goals and your dreams? The answer is the four buckets. So I wanna show you my four bucket approach to not only getting a more organized life, but achieving everything you've ever wanted. What's up guys, Alex Hine here. So before we jump into this video, I put together a free journaling worksheet right below the video that will help you figure out how to design and organize the exact life you want and how to figure out the exact daily rituals that will help you make that happen. So you can check it out right below this video and you're also gonna get a weekly email on journaling and how you can use it to improve every step of your life. So for me, the first bucket is collecting any ideas or hunches you get in a little notebook. So as you go throughout your daily life, let's say you're sitting at your nine to five job and you're wondering what you really want from life. And a piece of you says, you know what? I wanna do two weeks in Spain and all I wanna do is just write down what my dream life is. So that sounds like something that would be a dream or bucket list experience. So let's say you have that thought. Well, don't throw it away just because you're at your nine to five job and your boss is breathing down your neck. Actually write it down. So when I write these things down, I tend to put them in a little notebook, like a little moleskin like this, all right? And at the top of the moleskin, I tend to write the inner directive, which is what my gut says, and below that is what I want. In other words, what's exciting me. So basically, I wrote here on September 13th that my gut said, if I only feel eh, like so-so about something, if it's a relationship, it gets me an eh relationship. So better pay close attention to it next time earlier on. I probably went on a date and it probably sucked. That's probably the context. So I write down my gut feelings. What is your gut feeling about life? track these ideas, take them seriously, and put them all in one place. Now, on the bottom of it, what I write, what do I actually want, right? What do I want? I wrote goals about health, goals about energy, goals about money, goals about friendship, goals about dating. So the first bucket is all about collecting your ideas and your hunches in a notebook. And for me, this is really a daily ritual at this point where I just write down what my gut says, like here, the next day it said, Nixo social dancing was exciting. I started salsa dancing, it was a ton of fun. So that's my gut saying, you should probably do that some more. So bucket number one to organize your life is really organizing it from a gut or intuitive perspective. What is it that you're being drawn towards? Take those things seriously and keep a list of them, archive them. Now the next thing is to keep track of all your creative projects within Evernote. So let's say for example, one big project you want is to write a book or to get into medical school, or to actually create a YouTube channel, or you just wanna set goals for the year. So for example, I keep anything that is more than one piece of paper that I randomly have thoughts about. You know what I mean? Where you have a thought today, a thought tomorrow, or a passing conversation gives you an idea. I keep them all in one long file in Evernote so that anytime something pops up that I need to remember, I put it right in that file. So for example, Here's my yearly goal planning document, right? And basically every time I have an idea for what I want in that year, AKA this year, 2022, I put it all in the same spot. So at the top, it says, for example, these three keywords, sabbatical, fun, connection. And then basically I keep every idea I have about what would make this the most incredible year of my life all in one spot, the top three outcomes. Uh, quarterly trips that I want to take whenever I get the money, my printable one-page PDF that I look at every single morning, you know, my goals and my daily rituals, even a copy of the giant whiteboard that's in my kitchen. I have the real one and I also have a copy of it, so it's all in one spot. And then ideas that I think come up day to day. Like what are the things that really, really tug at me that could help me achieve those goals? And if something changes, I add it right to this. So. Basically, anytime you have some kind of project that is not short-term, that is not easily just done once, but is something that can go on and on and on, in this case, for a whole year, you need to have everything in one area. And for me, the easiest way is to have it all digital so that anytime you have an idea, you can put it on your phone, you can put it on your computer, or you can pull it up and remind yourself of it. So phase one was keeping your ideas in a little notebook. Phase two is keeping bigger projects inside Evernote. 
Now the third phase is really tracking your daily habits that you think will help you build that life with the one page sheet of paper. So basically what you just saw on the computer there was the digitized version of this, right? So it, all it says is the list. And on the front, all it is is what I want. That's all. This is the most effective, honestly, the most effective non-woo-woo form of manifesting there is. Just having a list of the things you want to have happen. So the front of the list is all the things that I want. And the bottom of the list is all the character traits that I have to work on that really I have to work on. It's that simple. But on the back is really what I call the aligned daily rituals. So inevitably, you may have a list like that. You know, let's say you have a salary that's double your salary, or you have a trip you've never taken before, money you want to save, and you've never done that before. Well, realistically, on a day-to-day -day basis, what you have to look at is your habits and your daily rituals for making that happen. And when you look at this every single morning, you know, this is what I have to do today to make this a reality. And so instead of waking up and being like, how do I achieve this massive goal? I have no idea. Just looking at this and seeing the habits and the rituals you know you need to work on today. So you can go from having a big hunch or idea or just a gut feeling. It's like, this is like the lean in notebook, right? My feeling is I should travel more. I should take time off. I should change jobs or start a YouTube channel. And then you create the playbook inside Evernote all your project ideas, and then boom, this becomes the concrete daily habits you need to do to make that happen. And then we move on to the fourth bucket. Now the fourth bucket here is really keeping score using a scorecard. So I'll show you what I mean here. Inside my book, Master of the Day, I have a picture on page 113 that looks like this, all right? There's a little checkbox, and it just says, you know, the daily scorecard and the daily calendar. And what I want you to do is you just looked at that one page sheet for something that could be, let's say, starting a YouTube channel. So you know you need to upload two videos per week. Well, keeping track of your scorecard, you know, the weekly habits you have to do every single day or every single week is going to be the thing that really determines whether or not that dream happens, not the fact that you wrote it down on a piece of paper. So just by having this scorecard that will say, Monday and Thursday, I said I was going to film a video. Do I have to do that? Did I do that? Did I not do that? And then putting those check marks on a piece of paper or on a giant whiteboard or on some system that works for you. So you can take the little notebook. My hunch is I should start a YouTube channel. Okay, gut feeling. On the computer, then you've mapped out, okay, these are ideas for that YouTube channel, right? Every time I have an idea. And then the piece of paper. This is the habit I have to do every day. Let's say 8 to 9 p.m. I'm going to spend one hour studying YouTube and one day a week I'm going to film. And then the fourth piece is on my calendar, seeing if I really did film those two days a week like I said I would to make it happen. So this four part system, the four buckets, has been really what I think monumental for me building my dream life in many different parts of life, not just career or not just something else but really for something that's been able to take complex things in life that start as ideas and actually turning them into realities. So try the four bucket system, download the free journaling worksheet below that can help you, and then check out these other related videos right there, and I'll see you guys soon.